Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cus Campbell. So today we got a great video for you. If you haven't seen my last video, went to Virtuosity once again. My trombone broke. Yes. We're probably gonna call this one um, Street Fucked. It was a very, very sad day. But Virtuosity hooked it up not only with a beautiful mug, they also hooked it up with a new trombone. For those of you who have been keeping up with what I normally play, you guys probably know that I play mostly on King 3Bs or King trombones, but that has changed. Today we have, we have a Yamaha. Basically the first horn I ever played was a Yamaha student model. This is a Yamaha YSL 446G. F attachment, I've never actually played on a horn with a trigger. The F attachment allows for greater flexibility in how to approach the lower ranges of the trombone, while a standard tenor trombone can only go to E under the staff and the lower pedal tone series. F attachment provides a bridge to the pedal range. So basically on a regular trombone, you can get all the way down to that low E in seventh position. But then after that, there's this area where you can play some false tones, but they don't sound as good. And then you can false tone your way all the way until you get to pedal B flat. But on this, you can actually play the false tones and they actually work. What else about this horn though? Key at B flat, like any other trombone, well, any other standard trombone. 0.525 bore so that's a pretty small bore. it's a small bore eight to one half gold brass bell pretty good size bell and for some reason like i always feel like i, I like horns with bigger bells so because these smaller horns are cool but i don't know why but for some reason i do better with like a like a little bit of like a bigger bell this horn does have a pretty big bell it is definitely a rose color bell and it's not brass it definitely is not like gold medium bore it's going to be the the rose kind of like bell rather than like you know just straight lacquer it is is rose gold but it's not like the gold that you would have saw on like my king the king color was a lot darker and like more just gold color this is more almost pinkish but the tubing and stuff like that is more brass so chrome plated nickel silver inner slide semi open wrap uh, slide lock lacquer finish includes mouthpiece and slide cream i actually use the pebo mouthpiece when i was trying it out at virtuosity that was why i really liked it because i was using the pebo mouthpiece like i like i normally do all yamaha wind instruments come with a limited five year war i mean that doesn't really do with what we're talking about. Yamaha makes great horns. We were talking about it with my buddy Alec who works for Virtuosity. He basically said like, if you can make a motorcycle really well, if you can make a, an instrument, <laughs> you know, the same, the same way. It's like, it, for some reason it just works. It's so true. And that was mad funny. Why don't we play a little bit? It's pretty light considering when you have the F attachment, you have the extra tube in. The back of the horn's gonna weigh a little bit more. If you have like a longer gig or something like that, you wanna just be cognizant or just get stronger. You guys aren't lifting, get in the gym. By the way, guys, this trombone slide is like off the charts. Like it moves really, really, really smooth. It's literally like butter. All my other slides, for whatever reason, I've tried everything, like all different types of lubricants, all different types of washing methods, cleaning methods, wiping down the slides over and over again, having them professionally cleaned and nothing really worked. Or it worked for a little while and then it would go back to being crappy. But all thanks to Virtuosity for hooking it up with this, the Yamaha trombone slide lubricant this stuff literally works so well like you know if your slide works if it just falls down without you having to like do anything and it's not rough and on top of that if you don't hear it so this stuff works unbelievably well virtuosity was so kind so all you guys got to do if you want to pick up one is just hit that first thing in the description use the promo code cuss i'll save you 10 percent on your first order definitely go buy one of these all right so now we're gonna play this thing and kind of see how it sounds because <laughs> It's a good horn, you know, being able to play that like low E, for example, where you normally have to play it in seven, but you can play that in second position. It's just crazy. So like, say I want to do something where I'm playing in E, right? Like E minor. <laughs> On an F attachment horn, a lot of them you're gonna have a tuning slot on the bottom, and then you're gonna have a tuning slot up top. And I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is just, this is just uh, what I assume. I don't even really know, but I assume that the bottom trigger, or, for, or the bottom tuning slide is for the trigger, and the top tuning slide is just for like the regular horn. I could be 100% wrong though. But someone in the comments, if you plan on F attachment, let me know. If you guys have any questions about like trombones or getting a new horn or anything like that, definitely let me know. I can definitely give you my recommendations for sure. This is for all the trombonists who love their gear. Overall, I love the horn. For a while, I thought that like Yamaha was kind of just like, eh, 
I think he plays on Yamaha. You know, Yamaha's really come a long way with their trombones. This trombone channel actually just put out a video recently and they show all the trombonists who play on Yamahas. Because for some reason, people think that Yamaha's like not good. Most trombonists play on Yamahas. Like Andy Martin plays on Yamaha. He plays on a Z. Wycliffe Gordon plays on a Z. I'm pretty sure Trombone Shorty has played on a Z. A lot of, a lot of these guys play on these horns. Like they're, they're good horns. King, Yamaha, Edwards, and Shires are like the go-to for a lot of trombonists. Khan is good too, you know? And there's some others. Find a horn that works for you. What you play on might be really nice for you, even though it might not be great for someone else. So, but yeah, y'all, that's gonna conclude the video for today. If you were new to the channel, hit subscribe. Make sure you turn on your post notifications. I put out videos every single week. You already know. You don't wanna miss any of them. Drop a comment or drop a like if this was helpful today. Go pick yourself up one of these and uh, drop a like. Really supports me a lot. Really helps the channel a lot. Thank you guys for watching all the way through. Like always, make sure, if you don't, if you don't already know, make sure that you always go the extra mile. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Much love from Cuss. Peace.